Hello everyone. So today is 18th of Feb and uh, happy Mahashivratri to everyone. And uh, let's discuss what happened on Friday and what we are expecting in the monthly expiry and uh, what speci specifically uh, we are expecting on Monday. Okay. So let's start discussing that is uh, first, uh, yeah, the data was manipulated here. So if you uh, open any five minutes chart during the intraday, so you must have seen like one after another, the, uh, the green candle and this spike was a major one. Okay. So uh, though in bank Nifty, you couldn't have seen uh, such things, but uh, yes, Nifty data was highly manipulated. So even the indicators also got that manipulation. So uh, the score was almost flat and then suddenly jumped. Okay. Uh, but then after, uh, if you see here, that is from 10 AM onwards. So at 10 AM, it was 63. So from 10 AM onwards score, uh, I mean, started gradually decreasing. Okay. But, uh, and yes, uh, for Nifty also like, uh, uh, so this was 10 uh, AM when the spike came. So after that, uh, market started uh, gradually decreasing. But for Bank Nifty, the, uh, the thing was that uh, no such major uh, strength was shown as like Nifty. So the data was being highly manipulated in Nifty. Okay. For Bank Nifty, we knew that it there was weakness. Okay. And it was clearly uh, our indicator was showing and uh, so yes uh, now okay sorry uh, let me open my telegram channel what we uh, let's discuss what uh, our analysis was on friday and also like uh, if you notice here that uh, the fis have uh, started selling but again uh, this is not a huge uh, selling quantity but uh, still they have uh, started selling and let's see what happens next uh, and also talking about in the FNO section, so futures they have sold for 1079 crores and in stocks they have sold for 1237 crores. Okay, so that's uh, the thing. And now let's uh, come to uh, our analysis on Friday morning. So call right is active 9:22 a.m. So when these up moves were coming, okay. So when these up moves were there, so what happened was that call uh, first call writers were active but also then put buyers also became active okay so if you if you see here that is put uh, i i bought some put as well because put buyers were active 952 and for bank nifty 41500 uh, was acting as a very nice support so that was the morning okay early morning update and i mean perfectly worked that is uh, like uh, Nifty also came down. Bank Nifty uh, showed a nice move, like for from forty one thousand five hundred to forty one thousand five hundred points fall, and uh, after this five hundred points fall at forty one thousand uh, at thirteen oh three, I clearly said that like for the put buyers to close their positions and enjoy the weekend because uh, this forty one thousand is a, uh, uh, a nice support zone and uh, that could act as support for that day. Okay, so. Yes, uh, the thing is that and then we went with uh, call writing as positional. Okay, so the thing is that to catch the put buyers while during these conditions are very difficult because uh, while there are spikes on upward. So what happens is that the premiums on the call side also spikes up and uh, the premiums, sorry, uh, the premiums on the put side spikes down. Okay, so it's very difficult to catch the put buyers. Now, let me tell you at 18,000. I clearly said that in the last video that uh, even if you go and check in the comments, one of uh, the subscribers asked, I clearly said that uh, on 18,000 on the put side, put buying was done and on the call side, call writing was done. Okay. Though you would have seen that uh, both the sides, uh, there are uh, OI is building up. So you, sh you would have thought that both the side short positions are building, but no, on the put side, it was uh, buying and on the call side, it was writing. Okay. And uh, yes. Uh, in the early morning also the put uh, buyers they started buying at 18,000 at 93 to 94 rupees okay so and the next buying of them started at around 108 uh, 108 uh, uh, rupees 18,000 put side okay and then finally the price was taken uh, I mean above 160 so uh, yes so that's that's the thing and uh, the call uh, so uh, yes uh, now 
uh, for nifty let me tell you that some uh, like in bank nifty you would have seen that we drew one level in the last live streaming 41278 okay and uh, you see that bank nifty came down and just uh, took some support there and uh, finally again it came down because that is just an intraday level okay and the major level is at 41000 it came down till there and took support okay for nifty also another new uh, level is uh, rising uh, i mean coming into the view that is uh, 70965 okay how i draw these levels i have clearly mentioned i go to the monday chart and there i basically see the support and resistance level so these are basic support and resistance levels okay so someone might call them as alien points but uh, uh, so uh, and uh, what happens is that the newcomers in the stock market they would see that oh these are alien points you see that uh, market is getting resistance there and uh, taking support there and coming down and again taking support so these levels are like uh, is 18084 uh, nifty getting resistance and uh, then uh, i mean 17850 nifty is getting support there uh, for most of the days so uh, yes uh, market is taking support and resistance at these levels so these might be some alien technologies okay how one has identified this is just nothing just to fool you all it's just simple support and resistance okay so yeah next uh, let's discuss the levels if 41000 breaks which is a very high chance then we could uh, then the next major support zone is at uh, uh, for 40000 3 for uh, 40434 okay for uh, bank nifty and for nifty as you all know 18 17850 is the next major support if that breaks then 17770 then 17720 are the intraday levels and the major level is at 17622 uh, or 625 okay so uh, talking about uh, my earlier uh, the last video i clearly said that to sell okay so it was all a matter of time that market is again going to go down okay i received to, uh, so many uh, i uh, i mean i so less likes okay so please do like this video and show your support and uh, token of appreciation uh, sorry appreciation so the thing is that uh, please uh, please uh, help me support and um, if you if you think my analysis are helping you so please do share it among the other traders and uh, please don't forget to like this video okay and now let's come to the uh, thing that is at 18 uh, 41000 if you see there has been call writing done and above huge call writing has been done for nifty also uh, the thing is that at 18000 at 17900 also call writing has been done at uh, 17800 also some call writers are active like almost 5 lakhs so yes uh, that's uh, the major updates now let's uh, go to our eod data so talking about the eod data if you look at yeah so talk uh, talking about this data if you see that uh, futures short has been done okay so yes uh, few, uh, so here futures short has been done futures long somewhat closed and now talking about call writing huge 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 call writing has been done okay uh by the fis as a, as well as by the prop techs and now talking about the put writing put writing yes somewhat put writing has been done but huge put buying has been done and if market goes down they won't be at a loss and now let me tell you about this put buying and put writing so the put buying has been done at at the money okay so the put buy, uh, writing uh, won't be there at uh, uh, i mean in the money right it doesn't make sense so the put writing has been done out of the money okay so uh, like uh, even if market moves down they won't be at a loss with these put riding positions and these call buying has been done to hedge the new fresh uh, 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 futures long position uh, futures short positions as well as uh, uh, these huge call riding positions okay so if you are a bear you have to stick to your bearish positions and that's it ultimately market has to come down the final verdict is sell on rise again or just sell okay and uh, yes so uh, i think that's all the updates uh, the major updates i think i have shared 
and yeah advance to decline ratio again uh, declines are uh, more than the advance and uh, yes so uh, that's all for this video so those who are new you can uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me on twitter and uh, if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it among the other traders thanks for watching keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one